What if great players wore the jerseys they were supposed to? What if lottery balls fell another way? What if the ultimate prize didn't elude great players? Welcome to Big Apple Hockey's NHL What Ifs. In 2003, the New York Rangers traveled to Nashville for the NHL draft, where a wealth of talent was ready to be selected. The Pittsburgh Penguins selected goaltender Marc-Andre Fleury with the first overall selection. Eric Stahl went second to the Carolina Hurricanes. As players flew off the board from Thomas Vanek to Ryan Suter, the New York Rangers sat at number 12, waiting to set up their future. Eric Lindros, you didn't know what was going to happen with Eric Lindros. He did play games in 2003. 2003 was the one season where he didn't miss games, but he wasn't nearly as productive as he was in 2002 with the Rangers. He was about a point per game in 2002, had almost 40 goals with them that year on the fly line with uh, Theo Fleury and Mike York. But um, Lindros didn't have a lot of talent around him. That 2003 team missed. It, it, they... they they needed talent badly, and getting Alexei Kovalov did not help them like they thought it was, because Alexei Kovalov, for some reason, just couldn't perform in New York the way that he did in Pittsburgh and in Montreal. The rival Philadelphia Flyers selected Jeff Carter at number 11. The Rangers would select Hugh Jessamine from Dartmouth College. A one-year wonder in Dartmouth at that time, the weakest college conference in all of the NCAA. And you took a home run swing on a player that you you couldn't afford to take. You couldn't afford to take that because the prospect cupboard was bare at that time for the Rangers. Dan Blackburn really wasn't the prospect anymore. You were looking at like Jamie Lundmark, Fedor Tutin. I mean, that was really the cream of your crop back then. And that was just terrible. You, you needed more. And instead of you know, taking more of a surefire player who gets left, they decided to go off the board with a player that really hadn't proven himself outside of one year in the in a weak NCAA conference. It was just the wrong time to do it. Jessamine would never play a game for the New York Rangers, with his development hindered by injuries, while the players selected behind him went on to successful NHL careers. The Los Angeles Kings took Dustin Brown. The Chicago Blackhawks took Brent Seabrook. At number 17, the New Jersey Devils took Zach Parise from the University of North Dakota. And in 19, Calgary Hitman center Ryan Getzlaff was taken by the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. What if the Rangers draft Ryan Getzlaff in 2003? I, I mean, I, I know that people will say, oh, well, Zach Parise, Mike Richards, uh, uh, Corey Perry. I, I mean, yeah, but Ryan Getzlaff ended up being the best player of the bunch. He ended up being the guy with the most longevity. He was the guy that played the premium position that the Rangers still needed help win. If they take Ryan Getzlaff there, you're looking at, I, I would say, more playoff appearances you're, you're, you're looking at having someone that's probably your team captain. If you get Yarmir Yager the following season, Yarmir Yager could end up playing with Ryan Getzloff, and maybe you're not looking at Mark Hanstrup. But Ryan Getzloff is on the verge of breaking 1,000 career points. So for a player that had that type of career as compared to Hugh Jessman's career. I mean, yeah, Ryan Getzlaff needs 18 more points for 1,000. Is he going to be a Hall of Famer? Probably not. I, I don't think the numbers are good enough. He, uh, I mean, he had a couple of really good seasons, and he was like a point per game for quite a few seasons, but I, I don't know if his numbers are necessarily Hall of Fame. Never won any individual awards. He has won Stanley Cup believe he's got gold for Team Canada, I believe in 2010. You're, you're looking at a player that was one of the better, the better players of his generation. And the Rangers got absolutely nothing in Hugh Jessamine. So you're, you're, you're talking about going from here to here 
in terms of production and it, it's the cap is obviously massive it's it's Jessman's not even in get gets laughs universe he isn't it's so to get production out of that pick would have been huge for the rangers for the next 10 plus years if you like that video we got a lot more so check out any of these that are right over here and don't forget to like share and subscribe your ideas are intriguing to me and i wish to subscribe to your newsletter